to another episode of Card Talk, a podcast where we spend a little bit of time talking about cards from Lord of the Rings Card Game. I'm your host, Dave Walsh. And I'm Grant Thompson, the original core. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. You didn't introduce yourself like you normally do. <laughs> I thought I'd change it up just for the sake of Ted not being here. <laughs> yeah, Ted isn't here, but you know who is always with us? It's our patrons, and we love our patrons, so... We love our patrons like Ted loves talking about cards. So um, I just wanted to take a minute to thank all the patrons of our show, um, including Daniel, David, Joseph, Kyle, Lewis, Mike, Dominic, Phil, Rob, Robert, Robert, <laughs> and Sean. I know for, for a fact that um, one of the Roberts is Grimbjorn the Old, who has been a member of the community for a long time. And so I just want to make sure that um, I give Grimbjorn the Old a shout out and a thank you very much for being a patron of our show. Um, it means a lot to know that um, that you've been around since the beginning of the game and you find value in this show enough to support us. So thank you so much, Robert slash Grimbjorn the Old. Um, yeah, thank you very much for all your support from all of you. Yeah. It helps we'll keep on the lights here. <laughs> right, keep the lights on and keep the loot coming. But uh, in the past, uh, in the, in this block of episodes that we're doing, unfortunately, without Ted, um, we decided to shout back to some of the corset stuff because we want to make sure that um, that now that the holidays happened and people are getting their presents and people have um, people want to hear stuff about the cards that they're just getting we want to take a little bit of time and talk about um just like the intro says talk about cards from the game and let's do some corset stuff again um, okay. it's always good to to visit the corset and the corset cards i've said in a million episodes that we've done probably are still um still able to be used today just as good as cards from the latest adventure pack they don't lose their value in the game over time i mean there may be a couple but i i would hazard a guess that those couple cards in the core set that weren't very good i'm looking at you brock iron fist um probably have never been any good <laughs> but the cards that are good when the core set or were good when the core set was released are still good to this day. And so they just get changed on how they're being used and things like that. But that's a long intro for what we're going to be doing today um, and over the next few shows. But anyways, um, Grant, why don't you introduce the the card we're going to be talking about today? Well, for the gift that keeps on giving, as it is just being Christmas, we're talking about Theodred, the corset leadership hero, who is a noble Rohan warrior, who is eight threat, one attack, one willpower, two attack, one defense, and four hit points? Who has a response after Theodred, Theodred commits to the quest? Choose a hero, commit to the quest, add one resource to that hero's resource pool. As I said, he's a gift that keeps on giving. He is a <laughs> gift that keeps on giving, and um, it's funny because we just recently did a show on. Uh, Eleanor, and Eleanor has similar stats, uh, two defense instead of two attack, um, but that one extra hit point on Theodred can make all the difference for what he is, um, for what he is doing, um, <laughs> because he, you're probably, in order to get that, um, in order to get that bonus, you're probably going to want him to commit to the quest, so because you want him to commit to the quest, you probably want him to have that extra hit points in case something comes through undefended or something like that happens. So that extra hit point really helps out um, from three to four on a hero. Um, oh, oh, definitely. And there was a clarification made on Theodred. Um, can add a resource to himself or any other hero owned by any player. Theodred can add a resource to Aragorn. Who can use the resource to ready himself if they are both committed to the quest by the same player? If Aragorn was already committed by another player, he would not be able to immediately use this resource. Can only commit 
to a quest once per game turn, even if you have ways to ready him. Yeah, that's the whole... That's that. This is funny because this... The combo that's mentioned there in that clarification is probably the combo that I first found where you're taking Theodrid and you are using the resource that he generates and adding it to Aragorn to allow Aragorn to ready. That combination, that combo was the one that I thought was the most fun in the game because it feels when you're not, when you're just new to the game and you're trying to figure it out and you know, if you're not deep into card games, like playing Magic the Gathering and Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and, you know, all these competitive card games all the time, you know, you find this this combo and it's almost like, oh, that's cr- crazy. That's really cool that they can work off of each other. Um, and, and so that's when I, that, that was one of the first combos that I found that was, that I was really like, okay, this game knows what's going on. I wish <laughs> my my one criticism is that I wish that it were somebody else other than Theodrid that adds the one resource to Aragorn to be able to ready him. It doesn't seem to be a um a lore connection there between Theodrid and Aragorn. They actually didn't even meet each other ever in the story. They just <laughs> they, well, in the stories. They may have met each other um previously. So, you know, like in different parts of the of the story, but or before, but um, Theodra died on the attack uh, that they made when, when they were when the three hunters were hunting down the groups of Uruk going to Orthanc. Theodred was one of the Rohan characters that died in that. So, um, so in the in the story, they never met. So, um, but that doesn't mean you have to use the one resource to go to Aragorn. It's just the one that you do from the very beginning. Anytime you need one resource, if you're playing multiplayer, adding one resource to somebody across the table is always a very nice guy thing to do and also is very appreciative a lot of times. So, so Grant, other than, other than using um, Theodrid with Aragorn, with Korgorn, where, what else do you um, use Theodrid for? Theodred's just a question bot. Um, I just hire him in as a resource, either smoother or accelerator, um, just to bridge the gap so that way I can pass around resources. Um, ideally, if you're running a tactics deck and you're engaging a lot of enemies but don't have the defense to deal with it, um, that extra resource for a feint might come in handy. Mm-hmm. Or if you're running... Um, spirit and you need that extra resource to drop out a Gladrum's greeting or a test of will, Theodred's resource comes in handy again. Um, Theodred is an all round any deck, just put him in just to smooth it out. And, or he, if, and he only has and he only has eight threat costs, so he's cheap to do that with if you're looking for an extra resource smoother. Um, recently, what Frodo also has that ability where you have to pay one and you get to ready another character, right? So, I mean, um, that's questing. So, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a couple of pay ones in, in leadership that you're able to, um, to use for, for Theodred. Now, but, here's the thing. Yeah. Theodred and Frodo Gala. Theodred commits to the quest. Right. Gives Frodo the resource. Frodo commits to the quest. Pays that resource to ready Theodred so you get use of his attack bonus. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, these are the things that you can do, right? Because because when the when they simul- when the actions or when the game events happen simultaneously, the first player gets to choose which is first. So that's why you can pay the pay give Theodred the one resource on Aragorn and then ready Aragorn with that one resource because all of that happens after committing to the quest. Um, so the same thing is true with, um, well, now that I say that, it, I guess it depends on what the wording on um, Frodo is. Frodo is. Yep. So it says after Frodo commits to the quest. I spend one resource from his pool already in another quest of unique character. Right. It has to be unique, which theater fits that category. Right. And, and for the, um, if you're using the fellowship contract where all you have are unique characters, that's, that's good for Frodo. Um, but back to Theodred. The the thing about Theodred is he 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 can he can combo with those two things. But you also want to play cards that boost his questing. 
Um, in the cor- stone. I was going to say, in the core set, you're talking about Calibrian Stone. Um, and then Favor, fav- the Favor of the Lady. But then after that, you know, there's a whole bevy of things. A song, the song of a song of hope, is is good, um, and that's in sphere for for this card. So, you know, there there's a couple of options here to. You've also got the Dunedin quest from one of the um, Shadows of Mirkwood cycle. From one of the quests in there, it's two resources to give plus one questing. Right. The the yeah, all those Dunedin attachments that go on um so there's a lot of early cards that really can boost this guy's um um willpower up now i think historically and even recently the game has valued willpower more than it's valued um attack and defense um so i think that that's why like calabrian stone is um and favor of the lady are a little more expensive um, the same with um, Dunedain um, Quest. Dunedain Quest is the same as giving somebody ranged, so it's cost two as opposed to one. Yeah. Um, so, uh, um, so if you're playing, and you can give that one. You don't have to use the one resource to do those things like ready Aragorn and use it for Frodo. You can you can use the one resource, like you said, to pass around to anybody who needs an extra one resource in the game. You know, you need yeah. one resource. Um, you want to you want to play a first turn tree beard. You can, right? Um, you you quest with this guy, and it doesn't even mean it doesn't even say quest successfully. It just says quest once he commits to the quest. So you can fail the quest all you want. You can put you can you can quest with um, Theodred, and then you can give the one to yourself or give it to somebody else, and they can play a first turn. Well, they can't do it during the uh, second. Turn. Yeah, but yeah. second turn tree beard. Right then and there, um, so it, I mean, it's really what do I want to say? It's really, um, it's really like a jack of all trades sort of ability, you know? Yeah, I mean, if you're playing, for example, two leadership heroes, two tactics heroes in Theodred, let's say the tactics, one of the tactics heroes is Hiagon. You could literally um, quest with Hiagon, quest with Theodred. Quest successfully, you get out of turn one Legolas for the cost of three tactics resources. Right. And well, and that's the thing, like this may help you not like this may help you um, bring out some of those um, cards from a second sphere to prevent you from having to run um, one of the songs, Song of Wisdom, Song of Kings, so that you you have to you know the, that's going to help smooth your deck over this resource acceleration. It's it's consistent in that you can get it even if you don't commit, uh, even if you don't quest successfully. So, you know, yeah. I, I, <laughs> Theodred's great. Um, I think he's great, especially great in the early game. And I think if you're going to play the the cards out of the core set. I think that you're playing leadership to beat the first couple of quests um, in the in the in the core box, um, and I think that Theodred helps you do that. Okay, so shall we get on and ring Theodred? <laughs> Not much more to say, huh? No. Yeah. I agree. I mean, we could go on and on about how good Theodred is. The only thing I have to say is that I'm not a huge fan of this this art. Um, it looks a little. There's something weird about the the angle or the proportion. There's something strange about it. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but um, it, it's not horrible. Like the quality of the art isn't um, bad. That's not what I'm saying. There's a couple of quality arts in the game that I think the quality isn't very good. It, this is the quality of the art is fine. It's just the way that it's drawn. It's kind of I don't know. There's just something strange about it. I think he's just his elongated mouth for when he's yelling there. Right. He's singing. Uh, right. Either he's singing or he's saying charge one or the other. <laughs> right. Well the 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 Rohirrim don't don't yell charge. They sing sing in battle, right? That's as they're killing things. I've I've made it a, a I don't know if you knew this, Grant, but I've made it my job to become more um 
more knowledgeable in the lore of Tolkien. So, um, so I'm trying to rival you in terms of what people know, in terms of what I know about the about the lore of Tolkien. So, well, it may mean that I eventually get to have a break. <laughs> Right. Pretty soon, you won't have to talk at all during these podcasts. <laughs> You'll just be along for the ride. Um, anyways, back to ringing this card. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see. For anybody who doesn't know or is new to the podcast, uh, we have a highly scientific yet arbitrary scale where we rate the cards on a scale from 1 to 10, where 10 is... Um, well, we'll start with one where one is the, uh, one card to rule them all. And 10 is, uh, the card that we throw back into the fiery chasm from whence it was made. So, um, Grant, what do you think of Theodred? I think he's an all round great hero. His stats are fairly balanced. I mean, personally, I'd like to see him have say the two willpower over the two attack considering his primary mode is questing for his response but um that's just my own personal little beef with him um <laughs> but he's all round great for resource smoothing and i always go to when i'm building a deck i look at because i try to focus down on unless i'm running monosphere I try to keep it to um, dual, dual sphere, and he's all. If I kind of find a secondary hero for the main type of the deck, I'll always look to Theodred first because of the ability to pass that resource round. So I'm going to give him a three. Three rings. Okay. Yep. Well, I can't say that I'm that as favorable about him, but I do think that this ga this card has, this hero has early game potential because you can generate the resources, and then mid and late game potential because after you've generated all those resources, you may not need them anymore once your board state's all set up, and then you can use them to attack, to attack, not horrible, but he's also got a threat, so that keeps your threat low, so that means things aren't necessarily going to engage you as often. So I think that this card has very good early game potential for resource smoothing, but then late and mid game potential for that attack or defense or whatever. There's lots of cards you can put on him to increase attack and defense to make him good. But that four hit points, I think that that's always a solid, it's, it's, it, it's in my head, it's significantly different to when you're going from three hit points to four. Um, so I think that Theodred is a very good and even underrated card, but I'm still going to rate him um, at a five um, because he he can fit into some decks that I'm building now with the whole card pool. Um, and I, I look to him sometimes, um, but I don't look to him all the time. He's not the card that I look at all the time, and I'm like, let me build a card with this guy or let me build a deck with this guy. So, um, so that's it. Um, Join us again as we talk about more cards, even core cards, um, uh, again next week. Have a great day, everybody. And if you're interested in finding this or any of our back episodes of Card Talk, feel free to search YouTube where you can find our flagship video episodes with the username Card Talk 2018. Or you can search the RSS feed, cardtalk2018.libsyn.org, for our extended audio versions of our podcast. Or you can find us on Facebook at Card Talk 2018. And if you have any questions for Grant or myself or for both of us, feel free to email us at cardtalk2018 at gmail.com.